All right, let's look at notes payable, which is a liability on the balance sheet, and how we recognize the expense of this notes payable, which is part of net income on the income statement. So just take the example here where we have a notes payable of $4,000 at the beginning of year one, and then each year we pay a $1,000 payment on the notes payable. So let's look at uh, the cash flow diagram here. So we have four equal payments here at the end of each of the next four years, and then we would discount those payments back here using the applicable interest rate to find its present value here. So we found the present value, and then in beginning year one, we record that present value. In this case, it was $3,170. So now we look here at the um, $3,170 that we charged to the notes payable expense, and then that was the debit amount here, and then the credit was $4,000 here to notes payable. So we have to make up the difference here. Um, the debit balance difference. So we do that through a discount to notes payable. Now this is a contra account to notes payable where um, the debit, it works in an opposite direction. So a debit plus here is a debit minus here, credit plus here is a credit minus here. So um, our balance has to be $830. And we calculate that here by the $4,000 in payments that we're going to uh, make on that note less their present value here of 3170 which is $830. So we've accounted for year one here. We've got everything in balance. 4000 here and then the 830 plus the 3170 on our debit balance here for, for the notes payable. Now let's look at the next at the end of each of the next years where we have to record our interest expense here. So we, I calculated that using the effective interest method here. So you add this interest expense expense the $3,170 and you get $4,000 which balances with the notes payable. But looking down here how we calculate that interest ex or how where that interest expense is accumulated here is um, we know that we're paying the $4,000 here uh, on the four payments and then they were discounted back here to the present value of 3170 so you take the difference of those two amounts and you get $830 here which is allocate we have to allocate to that interest expense each year now we need a balancing entry here for the interest expense that we recognize and we do that here in our discount to notes payable and that interest expense is recognized here as reduces notes payable by crediting it each year for that interest expense and then at the end of the um, four years we have a zero balance in our discount to notes payable so the 830 less the 830 we get a zero balance so let's look at the effect of this discount um, to notes payable has on a net amount in notes payable we started out in the beginning of year one here with an 830 dollar discount balance and we had a present value here of 3170 and our notes payable so each year we reduce that discount by the interest payments until at the end of uh, the end of the fourth year we got a zero balance here in the discount and then if we look at the related entry here the, the effect it has on notes payable through its contra account effect we also uh, we would increase the amount of notes payable but well it didn't exactly happen here you have to take into account that we paid a thousand dollar payment at the end of each of the four years. So at the end, when uh, we paid our last payment, we got a zero balance here in our notes payable and our discount here was zero. So in summary, uh, you wanna look at the fact that this discount here uh, to notes payable, which is a contra account, was about, had, was a balancing effect here between the notes payable and the notes payable expense account. So want to recognize how this can we can balance our balance sheet and income statement using this discount account. So here we had just summarizing this again we had our four thousand dollars that we paid in uh, payments each year and we had to discount those back to 3170 and, and that amount we subtracted it to our payment amount minus its present value and we get $830 here of interest that we allocated to each one of those um, for the interest expense each year. And that would be a summary of how we use um, the notes payable 
and we recognize it as an expense here and how we make our balancing entries to the expense on notes payable and the notes payable account here through this contra account to notes payable.